Hello everyone, this is Ivi Chan again with another cosplay video. Keep in mind, I'm not professional. This is just my way of doing my cosplay makeup. And hopefully this helps someone out there. Here I'm just starting by showing for those that don't know how to put a wig cap on. So first, of course, we're going to put all the hair um, inside the loop. And I like to put <laughs> my ears in there just so that it doesn't move around while I'm trying to fix my hair inside. Once you're done, you can go ahead and take out your ears. But it's just for me to like keep my hair in one place. And then once that's done, I go ahead and pin it down with the hair clip on both sides. Just so it doesn't move around when the wig cap is on. now I'm gonna clean up my face just with a clean wipe just to get rid of any dust that I may have on my face you can always just wash your face as well but this is just an another way to do it too Here I'm just picking which color fits better for the wig. These are lip pencils, but I use them for my eyebrows, which actually helps a lot. I like to go over a couple times because if I don't then it's too light and I feel like it doesn't show. It also helps me cover my dark um, eyebrows so it helps a lot to go over a couple times. Not too much of course but just enough. We're just gonna go ahead and clean up but this is what i use um nothing too crazy um but i like to show um the steps on how i do this for those that happen to not know how to do this process uh, if you already know how to do eyebrows or do clean up and all this stuff of course you can go ahead and skip through but this is just for my beginners Also, I'm going based on the shape of my eyebrow. I'm not going as the character's eyebrows, which you can, but if you have different eyebrows, it's your choice if you want to go as your the shape of your eyebrow or not. Time for to do my eyeliner. I just use a simple CoverGirl eyeliner, nothing too fancy. When doing your eyeliner, Definitely take your time because this is a process that I think is the one that takes the most delicate time. Time to use our foundation. Of course, you have your choice to go lighter, use your own foundation. Um, I'm just going with my regular one. And once everything's set up, of course, we go ahead and set up everything with our um, beauty blender. Keep in mind, I'm no makeup guru, but I really hope this helps someone out there. I am not the greatest, but I feel like I'm not the worst. I just hope, again, help someone out there. When I put my foundation, I would really like to get every corner of my face. It helps me feel better. 
So now I'm just going to set my face with baby powder. This is something I used to use uh, as a substitute for uh, setting powder because back then I didn't use it. I thought it was kind of pricey. Eventually I got one, like now I have one, but this is what I used to do before. Uh, once you see it, uh, you give it some time give it like I don't know maybe five to ten minutes you can go ahead and take it off um, but yeah this was my substitute now I'm going to do the outline for the bottom of my eyes uh, this way it can give me a better um, eye look I will try to keep it as close as I can to my natural eye I'm just gonna add some fake eyelashes on the bottom just because I can't put the fake eyelashes on the bottom I'm just not good at it I've tried it just looks ridiculous I don't like it I tried it I just don't like it I don't know how I just don't know how but yeah this is what I do to help me in the meantime so definitely another step that you should take your time doing if you're if you're not very good with eyeliner especially so take your time, um, it's okay to make mistakes, you can always go back with it with the kit tip as you can see with, with me. And then I'm going to fan it real quick because I want it to dry quick. And then I'm going to do my bottom lashes on top of this just so I can give it a bit of, of a boost to my faking natural lashes and then I'm gonna do my top lashes as well now I'm going to add a little bit of this um, shine to my eyes so I can kind of take away the emptiness or the, the spot on my eyes that I didn't put anything on it. It just it will have a little bit of color now with this. Using the same palette, I'm going to be using this color to add some shine to the bottom of my eyebrows just to add some shininess. This helps, uh, especially in this one, it'll look all nice and glittery. to add a little bit from to my nose as well now we're gonna do my favorite part and that's putting eyelashes I really think eyelashes give like the the whole look I like to like kind of like twist it like bend it while I'm also drying it with my mouth that way when i put it on it'll it won't be so stiff and it will be ready for me to just stay on and again for my newbies try to keep it as close as you can to your natural eyelashes but don't put it on them as well because it can it can damage your natural ones when you take them off and it can be a little like it'll hurt a little bit too if you have them on so now I'm just gonna put some blush I use a nurse blush now I'm 
going to add a it's like a little chapstick but it also has color in it i really love these ones they're so like hydrating for my lips but i also love how they give me a color to my lips without going too crazy on it but i will go ahead and add just a little bit of my lip gloss not too much i'm just gonna spread it from that a little bit of amount that i put gonna kind of contour a little bit of my nose not too crazy i know i go all over the place i'm not i don't have like a like a checklist of you know how, how i do my makeup i just go i do it as i go so i don't really have uh like a steps specifically that i do every single time to the side of my cheeks just to help give the little bit of illusion you know of making my face a little more slender just because you know anime characters are <laughs> always have the slender face so now I'm just going to use a light color to do more of my nose like give it more of a highlight Then I like to use the same beauty blender that I use for my foundation to go over the, the spots that I use for um, blending my nose uh, so it's not, it doesn't look too harsh uh, like the color of the, of the contouring. glitter to add some shine to the to the corner of my eyes the inner corner I really like putting this on because it just I mean, it makes me feel so cute just going to add a setting spray on because we're pretty much done everything's all good put my setting spray and maybe fan it out to dry out you know faster now I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up putting on the wig I'm gonna take out my ears finally I also already put on my clothes just because I'm pretty much ready now so I don't want to struggle with the wig so I'm just gonna put it on now with my clothes on and there we go there's the wig which I trim myself it does look shorter than I wanted it to be but I mean it kind of still works just gotta brush it and style it and it'll still do the job <laughs> now it's all done nice and pretty now to finalize just gotta put on my contacts all right and this is the final look i really hope that you guys liked it go ahead and keep watching more of my videos if you thought this was helpful maybe leave a nice comment next time.